There's a lot of comments on my recent video where I show how to set up the Minecraft server for your TikTok live stream. Today, I'll show you how to fix the issue with the server batch file closing immediately and how you can set it up so it works perfectly for your PC. Without further ado, let's go right into it. All right, so the most common issue is when people open start bat, it just closes immediately and they don't know what the issue is. I'll show you a few possible fixes and how you can actually find out what the issue is. So if you watch my video on how to set up the Minecraft server, you should have these three files over here in the Minecraft server folder. If you didn't watch it, go check it out. But if you do go to this website that I will be linking down in the description below, you will have absolutely everything set up step by step. So if you missed one single step, it will mess up your server. So that might be the issue. So what you need to do, first things first, is set up the EULA file, which I already said in the last video, but go make sure that this EULA.txt file has EULA equals true in it. If it doesn't, that also might cause the issue. So it's super simple, open up the notepad file, type in EULA equals true, and then save it inside your Minecraft server folder. That's the number one thing you need to do. After that, if you still open up StartBat and it closes immediately, then what you can do is go to the StartBat, right click it, and then go to edit. Once you click edit, it will open up the notepad file again and you will see a bunch of different things. If you are using the normal server, then you will not see all of these. You will see just the, like, the end over here but it will say server.jar, no GUI, all of that stuff. If you want to see what the error is, all you have to do is just click enter and it will go to the new line and type in pause. So just type the word pause and then go file, save over here. So now that you've saved it, when you click start bat, it will stop this uh, window over here. So it will not... Uh, it will not close immediately. It will just stop here because you type the word pause. And if it has an error, you can actually see the error over here. So it might say... Uh, you know, incorrect version of Java or something like that, we will fix those issues right now. So this one says Minecraft 19 requires running the server with Java 17 or above. Download Java 17 or above from this link over here. So that can also be the issue, right? So it says that just go to this URL and download Java. But if you don't have that issue, you can just press any key to continue. It will close it. That's totally fine. Make sure that your server jar file is actually named server jar. Like in this guide, it says make sure to rename it to server.jar. A lot of people don't rename it and that's where the issue comes in. Because if you don't rename it, if you go back to start bad, you click on edit, you can see that this thing right here says server.jar. It doesn't say Minecraft 1.20. whatever the version is right now. It says server. So if your file is called Minecraft server 124, it will not recognize the jar file. So make sure to rename it either to that Minecraft server, whatever, or just rename the server jar over here so it matches the server jar over here. That's it. It's that simple. Once you've done all of that, now you can download Java. So you go to this link that I will also link down in the description below. You download Java for yourself. So you go to the 64-bit Java for Windows version 8, update 4, uh, 401. That's the latest Java right now. There might be even a new version where you're watching this video, but this is the current version. So just click on download, install the Java, and that's it. But once you do that, you go to the second link that I will also link down in the description below, and then you just go download the JDK development kit. Current version is 21.0.2. If you are watching later on, again, it might be even uh, you know, newer version. One thing that you need to know is that you need to have the Windows 64-bit version. So if you have 32-bit, it will not be working because all of these Javas are using the 64-bit version of Windows. So that also could, uh, could be the issue. So go to this, um, over here, go to Windows or whatever uh, platform you're on. Click on Windows, X64 installer, download that, install it, and you are set. If that doesn't work, then you can go back to the first link. On this guide, if you scroll all the way up, you will actually see the link. It says install Java. Click here to download Amazon Coretta 21 directly. So this is another version of Java. There's like so many versions. I know it's a bit complicated, but if that doesn't help you, then you can download this Amazon Coretta. If you click on it, it will just download it immediately over here. So those three Javas need to fix the issue. They just have to. That's the only thing you got to do. And then you just go back to the Minecraft server folder. You right click, edit, you remove the pause in case everything works. You just remove pause, you save again and then you open it up. And it should be opening the server, it should be working, and then you can continue watching my other video on how you can set up the server in the next steps. And that's basically it. Those are the most common issues that 
cause the server batch file not working properly if you still have the issue which you shouldn't but if you still do make sure to let me know down in the comments and now we'll let you know how you can fix that other one but overall i hope you guys liked the video if you did make sure to drop the like it would mean the world to me and if you don't already know i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in the description below if your minecraft server works totally fine then you can watch my video on how to properly set it up for your tiktok live stream Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.